What's going on everybody? I remember we're back with another video. Man, I know it's been like, I post like every eight months on this channel, which I'm going to stop. I'm going to start back posting gameplays, unboxing, maybe review. I don't know what we're going to start back doing. But I want to unbox my new Nintendo Switch OLED, O-L-E-D. Now, Bree has been a huge fan of the Switch ever since it released back in 2016, 2017. And I've had the launch Switch since then, I got it when it first released back at Walmart. Me and my ex-girlfriend went to, which I just started working at Walmart when it first came out. And I went ahead and picked up the original Nintendo Switch. Probably said, oh, you're lying. Ain't no way the Switch lasted that long. Well, this is the original OG first batch of Nintendo Switches. Let me tell you guys how I'm telling the truth. If you guys probably can't see, when the first sudden Nintendo Switches came out, the vents on top of the Switch, that's how you knew it launched. It would start to melt because of how bad i think what was in there uh internally with the hardware it started to melt the vents as you guys can pretty much tell if it's going to actually focus in it started to melt all right it started to melt even you guys can tell in the back right about i believe it's where is it at i'm where is it i know it's somewhere right here because it started to crack in the back it still works perfectly fine i think it's right here oh right here uh, you guys probably can't see it. the left right here it's, the stuff was starting to crack. I don't know why. I never dropped my Nintendo Switch. I always had it with a case. I was always very, very careful of spending about $250, $300 on a Nintendo Switch console. So this is probably one of the most unique consoles in the history of gaming. Not the greatest console. I, I mean, you can say one of the greatest handhelds ever. Probably I still can go to the PSP, but this is probably one of the greatest handheld ever made and i wanted a brand new nintendo switch i do play majority of my games in handheld i did have the nintendo switch Lite at one point i just never opened it because i wanted to have this one as like my dock console and have that one as my portable console but it was very difficult to get your games and save data it was very complicated so i really didn't feel like doing all this stuff so when tears of the kingdom came out which was like this is like a month ago almost I seen this at Walmart and got income tax and stuff like that. So you know what? Let me go ahead and get a Nintendo Switch. Is essentially just a better screen, better battery, double the size. So I mean, double memory size, better kickstand, etc. So why not open it up? And I went ahead. And I also even got guys the Tears of the Kingdom game, which I still have yet to unwrap. I have a lot of games I need to unwrap still, but this is something that I want to do for you guys on this channel today is doing a, a solid unboxing. This is the Tears of the Kingdom. I think the one that I really wanted the most was either the Animal Crossing one or the Splatoon 3 when I do have Splatoon 3. But let's go ahead and start to open it so I don't have cameras from different angles. But this is how it's going to have to be. I do have another camera, but I don't know how to incorporate stuff. I'm, I'm kind of congested in this room. So let me go ahead and unbox it for you guys. Right, so we ain't got it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't really care too much about the Joy-Cons. Um, I do have the Split Pad Pro because I do have like huge kawaii liner hands so this is what it looks like inside of the box like i said comparable to that which i think it was like a second version of the switch but they were just better battery life i really didn't care too much about that i was really hoping for a switch pro switch xl so unless you do 4k i was really hoping for that so these are the joy cons the tears of the kingdom version um i don't know if it's gonna zoom in for i really technically don't really care about essentially the, the joy cons as much because i might end up selling those off um but looking at the screen let's go ahead and put that bad boy there compared to the screen yeah you definitely can kind of can can see the difference i have not hooked it up yet but you can definitely kind of see the major difference and this one's already starting to get a little stick drift which is crazy because i rarely play my switch as is so we got that there we have the we have the HDMI core, which is your standard stuff. Also have your, uh, I'm wondering, like it's the same as the original. Let me see, because I have it actually right here. Yeah, so about the same identical power adapter. So it's about identical in that regard. Um, what is this? Like the same Joy-Con chargers. The other grip, I actually know it's the, uh, I believe the straps, which I'm gonna be honest with you, who really cares about the straps? We don't, we don't play that one, two, three switch anymore. And like the dock, which is, oh, the dock looks marvelous. Now, one thing I, I did see when I looked at the reviews of the dock is it is much improved because the original Nintendo Switch um, didn't technically have an Ethernet port. You had to buy like an adapter, which is, that does not really much of make you want to go spend $300 on a new console. But Dix looks fantastic. Oh, yes. 
you got the tears of just like some Illuminati type stuff here, y'all. So you got your standard USB ports here. Heard you can open. Ooh, oh, I can't afford to break that. I just got them. <laughs> um, your AC power adapter, your HDMI out, and your LAN cable. So technically, it's the same legit exact stuff. Hold on, put that mother back in there. Yeah, we can't uh, we can't afford to uh, break this bad boy here, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll put this bad boy back in there later. So um, overall, I am very excited for this. I heard this looks like a little bit more better protection with this one. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to use my old stuff, and then we're going to go ahead and set it up there. So um, I'm I, I'm going to end up selling this one anyway. So I still technically got to um, power that one on and transfer all of my data. With my memory card to this Nintendo Switch. So overall, I'm gonna go ahead and um, power this on. I make sure I don't get. Ooh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy here. Yeah, because I do plan on selling um, this one at least recuperate at least half of my money for my purchase. Ooh, the way this screen look, two boys. Ooh, yes. Oh, oh. I'm gonna get me a. Briggs about to get him a uh, a definitely a. Uh, I like I don't like these little bad boy. Definitely have a screen protector for the OLED in a new case. I don't know if that's yeah. I'm about to probably invest in that when we get paid. Ooh, hold on now. Nah. Ooh, we compare on wait wrong, wrong side. So if you can tell obviously is the bezel that is like you can just tell. Um, especially with the I just spit all over it. Oh my god. The vents are a little and you guys probably can't tell. The way the vents are is definitely different. You gotta let it focus in. Focus in the way the vents are, which is just focusing on me. The back, you guys see the um, I'm sorry, it's uh, this right here. The uh, kickstand is definitely like smaller, and you see right here, you can open it up from right here. So let me go ahead and charge it, and then we'll switch everything over and give you guys like sort of quarter my impressions of how the screen actually looks. I did, I, I'd be forgetting that this switch. Oh, damn, it looks bright. This impressions of it, y'all, look at this. I mean, I think it's better in person comparable to um, the other stuff that you actually have. You guys probably can't see. Um, but just you have to kind of see it in person and handheld. And it's just, wow, just, just an amazing screen. Like, that's actually really impressive. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, that's really, really, really um really impressive so let me go ahead and um i gotta put my wi-fi password in so give me a second all right y'all so first initial impressions of the nintendo switch and i'm not gonna lie to you guys this is just amazing looking now probably my impressions you kind of can notice the major difference when looking at the nintendo switch um it's really the screen you can tell by how the, the borders are on my uh lime green nintendo switch if you're going to be playing a handheld and you want to save yourself some money, I recommend picking up a Switch Lite personally because if you're going to be, you want a small, compact, you don't want to break the bank, get your Switch Lite. The only complaint I would probably say would be the non-replaceable Joy-Cons because if something happened to your sticks, you got to send it to Nintendo to get a Switch to, all, uh, to get it fixed or <laughs> let's spend a whole new $200 and get a whole new system. Or if you want to be mainly in a dock, you play mainly on TV, get you one of the cheaper Nintendo Switches, save yourself $50, um, pick up a regular Nintendo Switch, go to the pawn shop, offer up Macari, any of those apps that allow you to buy you stuff that's in great, make sure it's in great condition first before you buy it. But as long as it's in great condition, pick that up. But if you want to have the both best overall experience of both worlds, I do believe the Nintendo Switch OLED is going to be the best one to recommend. So I'm going to do everything, set it up. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Is it really worth the $350? I'm going to be playing the handheld mode mainly because I was hoping for a whole new Switch, but we didn't. So as of right now, I'm going to ball out with this. When I start back traveling, um, going out of places, I'm going to start bringing back the Nintendo Switch. So this actually looks like pretty fun. And I will be doing an unboxing video of this one very, very soon. Um, probably tonight when I get off work, the PlayStation 4 Pro, um, the uh, DualSense Edge wireless controller. So see you later, man. I'm out. Peace.